Subscribestar.com slash Durstorus if you have a video request. But here we have some shitty news for the Groypers. SPLC gloats. Takes credit for permanent Twitter suspension of America First activist Nick Fuentes. Bye, Nick. These mofos actually had the audacity. Yeah. So, Jack Hadfield from National File reports, The Southern Poverty Law Center and the reporters have gloated about the permanent ban of Nick Fuentes from his Twitter following their hit piece smearing him, taking credit for his suspension. Nick Fuentes, the America First commentator and host of the weekly show America First, was permanently banned from Twitter on Friday following hit pieces being published by both the ADL, the Jewish Special Interest Group, quote-unquote, uh, and the SPLC, the far-left pressure group, in recent days, as National File reported. Um, yeah, so basically, like, whoever they want taken down, they will write a hit piece on someone, and pretty much to the day, the next day, they'll be removed from social media and their ability to either fundraise, make a living, uh, get their word out there on various uh, big tech platforms will be just undermined. Um, let's see, what does this have to say right here? Let's see, let's see. Okay, this is just the National Files report earlier. ADL's hit piece was posted to Twitter within the hour just before his ban, claiming that he is a, quote, white supremacist leader and organizer, that which is not a real thing. Nobody, I don't think any living person is a white supremacist. That's just like some Hollywood, again, like Indiana Jones or American History X, just misconceptions that a lot of people have. Who, quote, traffics in disinformation and division. In a statement, Fuentes said that the, quote, ADL published a report on me, and then I was permanently suspended hours later. That's what happened. <laughs> Adding that he would discuss his ban more later on his Telegram channel. Yeah, uh, Telegram voice chat. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center attacked Twitter earlier this week over the fact that Fuentes was still on their platform. Meanwhile, there's fucking, like, pedos and Al-Qaeda and ISIS and Antifa and, you know, <laughs> Blues Clues <laughs> enthusiasts, uh, you know. LGBT alphabet soup psychos plan openly plan terrorism and doxing campaigns against innocent working people. But whatever. Uh, linking him to the Capitol Hill protests in an email to the SPLC dated January 11th, Twitter admitted that they had not seen, quote, enough violative, violative content from Fuentes to ban him at the, at the time. Which is true. He Online, for the most part, he's a good guy. I mean, he doesn't really... He, he just tells jokes like any I guess shock jock or entertainer or comedian would um, we used to allow that even shit libs used to like tolerate that and put up with it while they would like write blogs and hit pieces all the same but it wouldn't necessarily result in mass deplatforming like this but uh quote it'll be d interesting to see if other people mentioned in the SPLC article about Twitter's embrace, quote, of the far right from two days ago end up getting banned too, said Ashley Goldenberg, the conservative commentator who was banned from Twitter two years per previously. Um, wowzers. So basically, it's just like, you know, you're associated with the wrong people and you told like the wrong cookie joke and... This, you know, and you also like fly too close to the sun on various Israel issues, and you get too much of an audience. And the SPLC will eventually get around to writing a hit piece on you, and you will get deplatformed. So, following Fuentes' ban, the SPLC, whose article was far more focused on Fuentes' relationships and interactions on Twitter than the ADL hit piece, claimed a victory and took credit for his permanent suspension. Quote, just two days after releasing our tweeting hate analysis by senior investigative reporter Michael E. Hayden. Twitter has suspended the account of white supremus Nick Fuentes. Hashtag by Nick. They're getting that hashtag shit going. They're just super stoked. Deplatform this dude. Hayden, who wrote the piece for the SPLC brag that Fuentes was, quote, likely to lose significant traffic without Jack Dorsey's help. So, yeah, that's kind of true. Get on Gab, get on, you know, Mines. I'm on there, right? Like, get on any sort of new tech platform, Odyssey, BitChute. Get on all that stuff. Well, I can't list them all off, but, you know, um, I got a link tree in the description myself. And, yeah, follow Fuentes. Like, even if, I don't know, you don't even have to be that big of a fan of the dude. I'm certainly not. I find him funny occasionally, but I'm probably going to make sure I follow him on pretty much everything that I can after this. If I'm not already following him already. Um, referencing previous comments from Fuentes that Twitter, quote, helped him retain an audience. This is true. 
following deplatforming from other social media sites like YouTube and DLive. However, these comments were made before his own proprietary live streaming site, AmericaFirst.Live, launched, and before he joined Band.Video and Gab.TV. The comments from Hated, therefore, are likely to be massively overstated. So here, this dude's stoked. Uh, Twitter gave far right extremists the platform they needed to plan an attack on the U.S. Capitol on Jan 6. Oh, the 6, the Capitol insurrection. But meanwhile, like Antifa and BLM have been flipping and burning cars like every day. Like, don't give me that fucking kvetching crocodile tears nonsense. Nick Fuentes has explicitly said explicitly that Twitter's support helped him retain an audience after YouTube. Yep, yep, it's true. It's true. But get on Gab, get on Minds, get on BitChute, get on Odyssey. Um, those platforms are way better. A lot of those have the potential to like pay you for viewing and being viewed. So it's like, why not? Oh, why not only use uh, Twitter and Facebook and Google as a means to filter people over to new tech, you know? Uh, quote, these Twitter bans used to matter. Not anymore, noted Andrew Torba, the CEO of free speech social media platform Gab. Nick has almost 70,000 followers on Gab, almost 40,000 on Telegram, gets millions of views on Band TV and Gab TV, and that'll probably skyrocket. But I don't know, like, for how long? You know, like, will it taper off? Will it filter off? Will people lose interest? Because YouTube, you know, I don't know if that's going to continue if they're going to go the way of MySpace or whatever. But for now, Google is, and Facebook are the big boys in town. So if you get kicked off there, if you get kicked off of Instagram and all that crap, it can, you know, it can screw you, definitely. Maybe in the short term, he might make some bucks and some extra viewers. But I don't know. Are they going to stay engaged? We'll see. Depends on It depends on how much we can make this uh, new tech thing grow, I think. But anyway, he was smart and built his own live streaming platform that he can't be banned from. He was smart and embraced alt tech early before this happened. Be like Nick, be smart, true. In his piece from this SPLC, Todd O'Boyle, a senior manager of public policy at Twitter, encouraged them to join their partner support portal program, which allows users to make direct requests on Twitter to censor tweets they find offensive. Wow, dude. A recent lawsuit revealed tweets may be taken down within days following a request via this program. It is unclear whether the SPLC took Twitter up on their offer to join the program. National File has contacted Twitter for comment and will update this article if and when there is a reply. So, yeah. SPLC and ADL, once again, they're the big uh, kosher dick swingers in town. They can fucking ruin your career, <laughs> like, as a even quasi or far right wing commentator if they so choose they write a hit piece on you and the next day uh you're gone from whatever platform they want so with that yeah follow me on new tech as well follow fuentes on new tech uh give all of our donation links some love please <laughs> e-bagging time yeah subscribe star.com slash the worst but uh peace out